The world's first 3D printed rocket made it off the launch pad on Wednesday night, but it failed to reach orbit in a key test flight by a California based aerospace startup, Relativity Space's Terran 1 booster, lifted off from Florida's Cape Canaveral. Several minutes into the flight, though, mission controllers reported that the rocket experienced what they said was an anomaly. This is a picture of it being built, by the way. Uh, this, there was nothing aboard the test flight except for the company's first metal 3D print made six years ago. Andrew Lound, space science commentator and local astronomer, told us why the rocket probably failed. Well, it looks like the second stage failed to fully ignite, a common, a common failure with, with rockets themselves, which is quite interesting in, it, in its own way. So the first stage seemed to operate quite correctly, and the, the, the first stage then separated. And the second stage seemed to shut down before it really got going. So therefore, there wasn't enough thrust to get it into orbit. Um, so that's a bit of a disappointment. But having said that, this was actually the test flight of, of this rocket. It wasn't carrying an active payload. It was carrying just a, a piece of equipment just to put into orbit, sort of a, a souvenir, as they said just to see if actually a 3D printed rocket could actually fly. And what's really important, the the people at uh, Relativity said that the main aim of this rocket was to see if it could go through the maximum stress load of a rocket going into orbit. And it actually achieved that quite successfully. So the fact there was seemed to be some sort of systems failure on board, um, which stopped the, the, the igniting of the, of the second stage, strange enough, is a sad thing. But the structure, the 3D elements of the rocket have held up very well indeed and made a really it's a proof of concept, which has been done extremely well. 